Hello, humans. Welcome back. In this video I'll show you the new Liquify feature in Clip Studio Paint. If you already update your Clip Studio to latest version or at least to 1.11.6 on last December, you will have this new feature. What is Liquify? Some might ask that. Liquify is originally a tool that popular on Photoshop. It's a powerful tool that allows you to change or fix your drawing without redoing again. Oh, um, I'm pretty bad at explaining this. So just see the demonstration. And here I'm using my old sketch from 2017. So as you can see, the proportion is just off. And I think I can't make it this off now. So using old drawing is a really good example. By using Liquify later, we can fix the proportion easily without damaging what we have. That's why I'll color this first before fixing the shape. I'll make separate video on how I color this from this grayscale sketch. Basically I'm using a bunch of multiply, overlay, and hard light layers. Make sure to give a like and subscribe if you haven't to see this new video. The scenario is kinda like this. You already draw most thing on a day, but can't finish it directly. So you continue your drawing on the next day. But when you open it, boom, you notice how bad the proportion is. Like a really tall head and off balance eye and more stuff. There is no way for you to redo the whole thing just to fix some stuff. So liquify will come really helpful. Alright, I'm done with the painting. As you can see, I'm using a ton of layers there. I'll group them so it will be easier to see. Now, how to group them? I can group them here in Krita. I guess I need to make the group layer and move them manually. Alright, now they are already grouped. I usually like to draw on one layer, so I merge them. I tried the shortcut to merge, Ctrl plus C, but it didn't work. As you see previously, I tried to color it without changing to shapes. Also, I didn't flip the canvas at all. And then after I flip it, it looks kind of the same to be honest. Well, I already see it too much. People say that our brain will get used to what we see. But I'll try to fix it anyway, using Liquify. Now first, we need to locate Liquify. If you are familiar with Photoshop, you will think it's on filter menu. Is it correct? Well, the answer is no. I think that's the reason why some people complaining that Liquify is not available. To make it easier for everyone, I'll reset my workspace first. Going to Window, Workspace, or Reset to Default. To find Liquify, you need to access your toolbar on the left side. And find Blend Tool. The shortcut is J. It's located below Pen, Brushes, and right below Eraser Tool. Click on it and on the Sub-Tool window, you will see a Liquify. And congratulations! You finally find your Liquify tool. Now let's try it on our group layer. It's not working. Bad news for you that use a lot of layers. You can't use this feature at all. Maybe you still can do that for line art, if you do it in one layer. That's too bad. Even free program like Krita able to liquefy multiple layers. Trying to liquefy on my merge layer, it works well. All the settings are on the left side there. You can change your size. Strength is like how strong a move is. I think 20 to 30 is pretty good for tweaks like this. I don't know about hardness. Maybe low hardness will be like airbrush, and high hardness is hard. And looking at mode, you can change several modes here. Push is the basic one, probably the one that you will use most time. It push things around. It's really good to tweak small things. Then we have expand, which is expanding. It's like making things larger. Pro tip, if you hold alt keyboard button, it will do reverse. So instead make it larger, it will make it smaller. This tool is great to fix eyes or mouth or anything that too big or too small. Then we have pinch, which basically the same as alt expand. It makes things smaller. And if you hold alt this time, it will make things bigger. I have no idea about push left and push right. Mm -hmm. Next we have twirl. It rotate things. Same thing again, when you hold alt key, it will do inverse. This tool is good to rotate things, especially eyes. Now I'll try to use this liquify to fix my old drawing. Most time I only use the push. First I fix the eye. So both have same level and angle. Hmm. 
Actually, it's kinda using my own instinct. I can't really explain it. So I use my own knowledge to judge whether it's right or wrong. I changed the face shape a lot, but now I think the original face could work well. Now she looks like a whole new person. I just doing it bit by bit till it looks okay to me. One thing that really obvious is the head is too damn tall. I have no idea why past me didn't notice that. Back then I was really proud with the result. Then I also make the shoulder bit wider to fit my current style. Tweaking the eyes bit more also make the mouth less tilted. I add bit more volume to the hair. I think it makes it bit more natural. The side cheek is really tricky to fix. And finally, it's kind of done. Now for the regulations! I already have the original layer before liquify as backup, and now I'll unhide it so I can compare it with the result. The hell? Why it's so tall? Oh my god, what is this? Is the program bugged and liquefied other layer too? Why it's so bad? The shape is just so weird. Um, I guess this was my original drawing. So after comparison, you can see how bad it was. And that's when Liquify will come to save your life. Okay, so I'm done. It's pretty good. I finally clipped Studio than Liquify. But comparing it to Photoshop and Cricut, I think it's much heavier. My laptop barely handled it at near end. I think the more you use it, the more laggier it will. And the downside is, we cannot do Liquify on group layer or multiple layers. That's really bad news if you use a lot of different layers. As I said before, using Crit A, we can do that. But well, this is new for Clip Studio. Maybe they will improve it later. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe if you haven't. Feel free to comment if you've got anything you want to ask.